Together with Hollywood composer Chris Walden, I composed the music for a documentary about the German church and the taboo theme. And here is the first main theme. So that's the whole main theme, the first one. And let's have a look at the composition because we are using four different chords. So we got D minor, E minor, F, and G. And now let's listen to the strings. These are real strings recorded by Hollywood composer Chris Walden and listen to the top notes. So because of the top notes is not always the same. So it's always going up and up and up, so we just listen to the top notes. Just the last one is going down. And now let's listen to the next part with the strings, just the strings, and just listen what Chris Walden did at the arrangement. It's always the same chords, but there's always happening something, some changes.
so it never gets boring. I love this arrangement. And let's have a look at the plugins here because some people ask, first of all, I use the Simplon, we'll come to this later. Then I use Soothe 2 for reducing some resonances. Next is the Galfas. The next is uh, Equalizer, the Pro-Q3. I reduce the low frequencies, boost the high and reduce some low mids and use it as a um, dynamic EQ. And, and then the UAD Paltec Legacy. And now listen to the difference. We take the, yeah, we start here. So here it's getting much clearer and we reduce the low frequencies. What I do this every time? No, because I wanted to have enough place at the low frequencies for the organ. And when I would have just a piece with just strings, uh, I guess then I would perhaps reduce some of the high frequencies and for a love scene getting a smoother and warmer sound. But here I liked this. So I ne nearly never use always the same plugins with the same settings. So let's get back to the start because we don't just have the strings. Let's listen to the start with all the strings. So at first we've got the Tundra flutes played by Albion One, uh, not Albion One, Albion Tundra. And I used them and not normal flutes because I wanted to have them a little bit more in the background and give more room. Next is the organ. A town hall organ and here I use a lot of organs you can use them like playing a lot of registries but here I guess most of the organs are playing different parts or, or different keys and here in the right side you can see another video where I show you a lot of free organs and let's listen to this one And then I add another organ that's playing the same, but a little bit more clearly. So these little notes pop up um, a little bit more. Then I use a deep organ by Spitfire Labs. And it's very, very deep. And then I added a low organ by orchestral tools. So you can more recognize the, the sound, the tone. So it's not just a bass, it's really a tone. And I wanted to have a little pulse. So let's listen to the first part, Tutti.
And now we don't repeat, now comes the B part. Very important is here this piano. It's the H piano by 8DRO. And there are multiple piano players playing the same keys at the same time. I guess three or four different pianos. And you can imagine at the sampling session, they couldn't play at the same time. It's like a lot of string players playing pizzicato. So some keys or some piano players are louder or the piano differs and it it has a different sound then i added an organ more in the background and then add the next bars, I'm adding the harp. And the harp is doing the thing the organ did before. This little, little part, bum, 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 is now played by a harp. And to this fast H staccato piano, I'm adding the Noir piano. And now let's get in some modern sounds. Here is a mallet played by Serum. And another serum sound. And for getting a little bit more drive, I added the marimba. And then we go back to part A and let's listen what the strings are doing here. Did you hear it? Let's do it again. So let's hear them on their own and I open one plugin. I like to do filtering instead of fading in. So I use a low pass filter here. You can do it with a high pass filter. And for me, sometimes it sounds smoother and, and softer. So now we've got the same thing as in the beginning, but the harp is now playing. So we get more movement in here. Let's get to the part when it repeats. So here is much more going on. We've got this organ. And we've got this one. And the funny thing is, when I play them together, I guess you would say these are just 
two chords and not four as in the beginning. And we've got different voicings, yeah, but two chords. But now let's add the organ bass or bass organ. And now we've got four chords. And now let's add the strings. So you see how important the bass is in here. Then we've got a little crescendo. And what I love here, the end crescendo of the strings. And here you hear these are real strings because they are so powerful. And at the last two bars, the strings are playing, but some of the other instruments are muted. So we hear the strings, we hear one organ, the next organ, the next organ, the next organ, but just the organs. So one organ is muted, the tantra flutes are muted, the mellet serum, mellow, the pianos, the harp, and so on. So it's not like a big cut, but we leave a little bit more piece for the instruments coming down and the strings now got more place. And now we get to the last part. So we don't have strings, but instead of this, we've got the choir. And I guess this is perfect because there are two things, I guess, will be heard in a church, organ and choir. And here I use the Dominus Choir and build some words. And as you see, I did the same things with the keys. So with the top notes, I'm starting with the A. Then B, C, D, E. So it's always going higher and higher, but here at E, I'm going down because when I always go higher and higher, then it's getting harsh and, and screamy. That's not what I, I wanted. So here I use uh, sometimes other chords or other, um, other voicing. So here is some added note and here it's missing. And as you can see too, the bass notes are very important here. And here is coming in another organ. No, not this one, this one. And it's very low at the beginning and you nearly can't hear it, but it's getting louder and louder. You can see the 
control lane and you just can hear it at the end and it gives you more drive and pushes you into the crescendo. This is a little making off to the documentary about the German church. And when you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Would make me very happy. When you get some questions or suggestions, just leave a comment. And at the right top, you can see how I composed the music for a documentary about prisons called Behind the Bars. See you next time. Bye.